rainbow number one. Later, dude. Oh, well, that's freaking awesome. Now we just need the brook trout. I figured I should probably talk about these boots though. And I should probably answer the question that y'all want to hear, which is, would I buy these boots again? And would I recommend these boots? And the answer to that is... All right, what's up, y'all? So I'm pumped to get fishing. I've never been here. <clears throat> I got these brand new Sims wet wading boots on, so I'm pumped to try these things out. But I want to see if I can show you guys what I saw when I pulled up here. <sighs> pretty freaking epic, actually. No monsters, but I walked up to this hole, and I'm pretty sure I saw a brook trout, a brown trout, and a rainbow trout, along with a bunch of other little fish. So check this out. Hopefully you can see it. I know that this creek is all wild fish. <clears throat> Hasn't been stocked in a long time, especially up here. Hopefully you guys can see that. There's a decent one swimming around in the deep part of the hole with like, I don't know, six other fish underneath it. <clears throat> There's another two up a little higher. And then there's like three fish in the head of this hole right here. So <sighs> normally I wouldn't do this and start right by the bridge, but I'm going to have to take a couple casts in here. I got a dry dropper rig rigged up and we're going to see if we can get one of these guys. I probably already spooked all these fish in here because I like tripped and stumbled down this stupid hill. Oh, I hope I didn't spook the stuff at the front of the hole because the back of the hole, I definitely did. Oh, we got this. Oh, maybe not. I can still see one right there. That's pretty decent. He kind of needs just, oh, they're feeding up top though. I just spooked everything up there. And I might have lost my dropper. Yeah, I spooked all those fish and I lost my dropper. Okay. We're gonna fish through here, I guess. Oh! I sent him flying. Sorry, little whatever you are. That is a tiny little fish. <laughs> Look at the colors on that monster right there. Pretty awesome wild little fish. We'll let him go. Here we go, who knows. Later, dude. <laughs> this thing came out of the tiniest little pocket right there, so. We're gonna work our way up and see if we can't find a bigger one. Well, I know fish right here because that duck was just in here. But they 
could be tucked over along that bank. Under that tree right there. Where did you come from? Fish. <laughs> oh, what do we got? Oh, that's a little beautiful little rainbow. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Pretty freaking epic right there. We gotta get this hook out of this thing. Wild rainbow number one. Later, dude. <laughs> well, that's freaking awesome. Now we just need the brook trout. <sighs> I'm about ready to rig up the dropper again. Because a lot of these holes look like dropper holes. So the reason I'm kind of running and gunning like this instead of stopping and fishing everything is because one, I've never been here and two, oh my God, there was a giant rise right there. So this is hard because there's that overhang. Oh, he just ate. Not a big fish, but he definitely just ate off the top right there. Oh, there is a big fish in there, but he just spooked when I made that cast. I gotta get, somehow I gotta get up and over that branch. I'm never gonna get him out of there. I don't know how I'm gonna get this cast in there. Cause I know where they are. I almost gotta dangle it over this branch. <laughs> Let's see if I can get one on this dangle here. We're gonna try it like this. No, I did it. I spooked him. We might try that one on the way back through. From up here. I think I'm gonna run a dropper. So there was definitely a big, nice fish in this pool. I flicked that in there and like six fish came and looked at it. I didn't even know they were all in there. They all said no though. Let's see if we can get it farther over. We get a take. This sunk too fast. I would have had fish if it was moving faster. But the water is moving faster, but they're not gonna eat it because it sinks too slow or sinks too fast. the dropper oh what are you little wild brown 
He's already unpinned. You guys can see that guy. Right, right out of post. The <laughs> hopefully you guys can see that guy. He's kind of orange. He's got orange spots, orange out of post, orange fins. I'll take that later, dude. <laughs> All right. Well, we got three fish. All right, you guys. I'm gonna have to change locations, but uh, we got another wild brown on a dry fly, so that's pretty awesome. I just need something a little bit bigger. <laughs> Go, bud. Later, dude. <laughs> All right, so we're out here on this different spring creek again. I haven't really seen any fish move yet, so I'm not too pumped on that. I figured I should probably talk about these boots, though, and I should probably answer the question that y'all want to hear, which is, would I buy these boots again? And would I recommend these boots? And the answer to that is yes, a thousand percent yes. I, uh, I've been wearing these for about six hours now and haven't taken them off. They're as comfortable as can be. They shed water instantly. They don't hold any water weight and they're super light. Like you couldn't ask for a better wet weighting boot. So with that said, I would definitely recommend these boots. And uh, if you made it this far into this video, please think about leaving me a like and subscribe to my channel. It really helped me out and I'm out. Oh.